Chuck Norris is one of my all-time favourite people to watch on screen. His martial arts skills are always showcased in whatever role he plays, and his acting is better than average also, which makes for an entertaining performance, no matter what movie he's in. Some might say his movies are over-the-top cheese fests, but for me, it just makes them more fun to watch. So I've comprised my list of my personal favourite Chuck Norris performances. Number 5. Silent Rage in this movie, he takes on a psychopathic killer who, after an attempted arrest, is shot dead, then brought back to life at a biomedical science lab that for some reason he ended up in rather than an actual hospital. It's kind of unbelievable that a crazy murderer would be the test subject of an invincibility formula in an ideal world. Like, we have a psychopathic murderer over here, let's make matters even worse and make him invincible. Also, why didn't they just take him to an actual hospital? Anyway. He soon escapes and puts his new power to use by killing most of the people working at the lab and their families. But there's one challenge he just can't overcome. Chuck Norris. That's right, even an invincible, unstoppable man is no match for Chuck. I mean, this guy gets shot multiple times, blown up, set on fire, thrown out of a window, and Chuck Norris ends his reign of terror by throwing him down a well. That's right, so if an unstoppable force is attacking you, Make sure to have a wishing well nearby, because it could save your life, Chuck Norris certified. As with every Chuck Norris movie, we get to see some great martial arts scenes where Norris pretty much shows his skills to the camera. I've always been a fan of Chuck's no-nonsense combat style, and he doesn't fail to deliver in this film. On top of a great final fight scene, his character is also pestered by a gang of bikers throughout the film, which leads to a great scene where Norris wipes out a large group of them in one of the most amazing bar fight sequences of all time. Number 4, Missing in Action, 1984. Norris plays American Colonel Braddock, a Vietnam War vet who spent seven years in a brutal prisoner of war camp. Ten years later, he puts together a team to find out how many American prisoners are still being kept there. Once the evidence is acquired, he sets off to Thailand to meet ex-army friend Tuck to provide him with the essentials to free the remaining Americans still being held in the camp. Overlooked by critics for being too unpredictable and falling short in terms of accuracy, Missing in Action is held together by being one of Chuck Norris's most action-packed revenge stories. This one was directed by one of my favourite directors, Joseph Zito, known for many other entertaining movies such as The Prowler, Friday the 13th, The Final Chapter and many more. You want to see him win, no matter what the situation, and often he does because he's Chuck fucking Norris. If you're into canon films, you've probably already seen it, but if you're into canon films and haven't seen it, see it. It spawned two sequels, but they're not really anything too special. Check out this one though, it's amazing. Number 3, Lone Wolf McQuaid, 1983. The Ultimate Showdown, Chuck Norris vs David Carradine. In this one, Norris plays a Texas Ranger who attempts to take down a sadistic drug kingpin who focuses on removing Norris from the situation after Norris steals his love interest for him. After killing his daughter's boyfriend, almost killing his daughter and attempting to dispose of him by burying him alive inside his truck, things get a lot more personal and all hell breaks loose from this point forward. Out of all the Chuck Norris movies I've watched, the story in this one seems to be one of the stronger ones, and also one of the more personal in terms of the beef between the hero and the antagonist. We see some great fight sequences, explosions, Mexicans, and of course, hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques. This one's got everything. Number 2, Delta Force from 1986. Chuck Norris co-stars with action legend Lee Marvin as part of the elite Delta Force, tasked to save a passenger plane hijacked by terrorists who threaten the pilot to land the plane in Beirut. They separate the Jewish and the marine passengers who are subjected to more abuse than the women and the children hostages. Out of all the films in this list, this one feels the most real and obviously less fun in terms of mindless action. It's got quite a serious tone and it's pretty tense throughout. Knowing this could happen, and has happened in real life, makes the realism in the film really reach out to the audience. It's a great story about a rescue mission and hits you with the fact that rescue missions don't always go smoothly and people do die. Naturally, watching the hostages being so badly trapped, all you want to do is see Trip Norris and the Delta Force swoop into action and save the day. And he definitely does so, maintaining his unstoppable elite soldier routine. This one is less about martial arts skills and relies more on action and adrenaline. Oh, and the amazing stunt work. 
And finally, number one, Way of the Dragon from 1972. You probably knew it was coming. How could I create a top five without including Chuck Norris versus Bruce Lee, two of the biggest martial arts legends to ever live? Bruce visits his family restaurant in Rome and helps them to defend it against local gangsters harassing him. But later on in the movie, he meets his equal, that equal being Chuck fucking Norris. I like Bruce Lee's work and think he's an incredible martial artist, probably the best in the world has ever seen. Although Chuck will always be more entertaining in my opinion. Of course it's the best part of the movie and I'd definitely give it a watch as it's probably one of the greatest showdowns in movie history. Hope everyone enjoyed the list and remember everything here is my own opinion. So don't get upset if a film you enjoy didn't make it to the list. If you feel that way you should probably create your own list. Opinions are subjective so respect that. And thanks for watching. <laughs>